Hello brothers and sisters, this is Lisa and I wanted to come on and share a word that was posted on March 11th of 2019. The title is The Day of the Lord is Coming, Who of You is Ready? And this was posted by or given to Holy Spirit Wind. My Holy Remnant Bride, I speak to you again now because you are the ones who are listening. I long to warn the world of judgment, but they do not listen. It is here now, but very few are doing anything of eternal significance about it. I am the way, I am the truth, I am the only true life. 100% truth is the narrow way, the only way that leads to life. Things are not going to go the way that most professing Christians think that they will. Most of what has been taught by the church about these last days was of the flesh and deception from the enemy. The truth is in my word, but very few read it for themselves with the guidance of my spirit. My spirit will lead you into all truth, and if you listen, you will have no need for any man to teach you. The truth is that judgment is coming to the whole world and it cannot be stopped. Some of it has already taken place, but the most severe is yet to come. The only thing that can be changed through prayer is how much mercy that I can show, even in the midst of judgment, and to whom I may show it upon. The truth is that the only hope for this world is me not any man or possession. Any plan that has been made, aside from my perfect will, will be nulled and voided and cast into the rubbish heap to be burned along with this earth and every evil thing and work in it. Now is the time to come to me with your whole heart before the fiery kickoff event takes place because then everything changes suddenly like a switch being flipped. My faithful holy ones who have given me all will be greatly rewarded. There is room for all to come in. Don't believe the lies of the enemy. No one can come to the Father except by me. I am the only mediator between the Almighty, Most High Father and man. There is no other. My blood paid for all sin, for all time, but you must repent and turn away from it. You must do this without procrastination, for the prophecies of old are coming true right before your eyes. Most eyes are blinded to this by choice. You must have a reverent fear of the one who is bringing all the events of the end to pass. He holds life and death in the palm of his hand. The Father is an all-consuming fire, and sin cannot live in his presence. It is by his mercy that he has hidden himself from mankind, or he would have destroyed everyone with sin by his unveiled glory. I came to the earth with the glory of the only begotten Son of God, but not with the full glory of the Father that I will come with at my return. The veil was torn, but it shall be completely removed soon. Father has hidden himself in thick darkness out of his great mercy to leave space for repentance, but that space has all but been used up. His glory shall be revealed and the darkness shall flee and then be burned and destroyed. The fiery kickoff event will come and the financial systems around the world shall fall, but it will be felt worst in America. This will give rise to famine, disease, violence, destruction, and war. Yes. World War III will follow these, and then even worse events shall take place. There, sh there shall be a great earthquake. The sun will be completely black, 
and the moon will be blood red. The sky shall roll together like a scroll and be dissolved. The hosts of heaven shall be cast to earth. It will be likened to a fig tree. A mighty wind shall cast dried up leaves and ripened figs to the ground. Who are these hosts of heaven? Some may wonder. They are the fallen ones, the angels and entities, who disobeyed and rebelled against the Father and I. They were lowered to the earthly, physical dimension with their leader. Great darkness will be upon the earth at this time that will be able to be felt. This is when this verse takes place. Therefore rejoice, O heavens, and you who dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down to you, having great wrath, because he knows that he has a short time. And that's in Revelation 12, verse 12. The beast who is rising even now, also called the Antichrist, shall be possessed completely by Satan at this time, and begin the war on the saints and the implementation of his mark to buy, sell, or trade. I will protect my holy faithful ones that I will use in the harvest, but there will be millions who will be martyred for their faith in me. Most of them would not have made it into the kingdom if it were not for this persecution. They would have lived their lukewarm Christian lives and then would have been cast into hell. It is also at this time the remnant bride shall arise and shine, and my glory shall shine upon them. Those who don't know me will be drawn to their brightness, and many glorious miracles shall be wrought in this time. The greater works than of those that I did in my earthly ministry will happen at this time. This last great harvest will be greater than any other the greater that I allow the darkness to rise, the greater the light will be. I will use a loud trumpet to send my angels, and they will gather my chosen people, elect from every part of the world, from the four winds, from one end of the sky, heavens, to another. And then the cup of our wrath shall be poured out upon the earth, full strength, there will still be a chance for repentance during this time, but very few will. Instead, they will curse my name, the only name by which they might be saved. The day of the Lord is coming. Who of you is ready? It is not only one of your days, but it will come quickly when it begins. My full glory will be revealed without the veil reducing its power. Who who be able to stand in that day except for my holy chosen sons and daughters? The heavens and the earth will catch on fire, burn and dissolve during this time. It comes like a thief with no immediate warning except the warnings that you are getting now, which are many. Those who look for my coming will not be surprised, for they look for my coming always. But the world does not expect me to return at all, and they will be very afraid, for they don't know me, but those who know me will rejoice. Considering all these things, beloved, what kind of people ought you to be? You should conduct yourselves in holy righteousness, godliness, showing love to all with the fruits and gifts of the spirit and looking for the hastening or sorry looking for and hastening my return when the end comes this will be said he who is unjust let him be unjust still he who is filthy let him be filthy still he who is righteous let him be righteous still he who is holy, let him be holy still. And that is written in Revelation 22, verse 11. And it ends, Jesus Christ 
Yeshua HaMashiach. And that is the end of the message. And there are several scriptures after this. I will post the link in the comment section for all those who would like to read this and get the scriptures at the end. Anyway, I would just like to add and say, please, if you have not called on the name of Jesus, do it. Do it now. It is so urgent. He can really come at any moment. He could come today. He could come tonight. He could come tomorrow. He could come at any second. And it will be in the twinkling of an eye he is going to take his bride, his children, out of here. And those who are going to be left behind are going to go through and see the most atrocious, horrific, scary things. And you don't have to. Nobody has to. All we have to do is believe that what Jesus is saying is the truth and just put our trust in him, call on him. It is our choice. The Lord does not force anybody to believe in him. And all, all you have to do is choose. choose. Choose to call on him and he will reveal himself to you. Time is so imminent, please. Nobody would want to come on and make videos and share this information if it was not of the urgency. No, no matter how many times we have family and friends and and even strangers come against us and say that we're crazy and we're nuts. Well, yes, I am. I'm crazy. Just as I'm sure many of my brothers and sisters listening to this we're all crazy. We are crazy for Jesus because we know that he is coming. It is the truth. And all you have to do is ask him yourself and he will reveal that to you and he'll let you know the exact crazy things that we know ourselves. So please call on him today. He loves you. God bless each and every one of you. Have a beautiful day in the Lord. And I will see you next video. Bye-bye.